The next step in the general examination after the head is the examination of the neck. Really, in the examination of the neck, you have to put in your mind the pedagogic structures. First of all, you have to detect the trachea, whether it's central or slightly deviated to any side. And then you have to check for the thyroid. After that, you have to check for lymphadenopathy, lymph nodes of the head and neck. And after that, for the vasculature of the neck. In addition to that, you have to see the contour of the neck. For example, short web neck may occur in patients with the Turner syndrome. And uh, long uh, neck may be a manifestation of Marfan syndrome. Uh, in the examination, first of all, in the examination of the uh, trachea, you have one of the following two uh, procedure or maneuver. First of all, you have to introduce the uh, left index, uh, the right index finger over the suprasternal notch, exactly in the midline. You will feel the trachea, which is central and or slightly deviated to the right. This is the first maneuver. The second maneuver, you can use three middle finger by placing the index finger and ring finger over the attachment of the stern sternocleidomastoid with the sternum. And the middle finger is pressed into the middle to feel for the trachea. The trachea, as I said, should be central. This is for the trachea. After that, you have to ask the patient to swallow to see any thyroid enlargement. Okay, all this about the thyroid and the trachea. After that, you have to check for lymph, for lymph node in the filament group. First of all, the submental group, submandibular group, pre-auricular, post-auricular, occipital group, here posterior cervical. Anteriorly, we have in addition the tonsillar lymph node, superficial cervical, deep cervical, scalene lymph node, and in the supraclavicular fossa, you have to check for the supraclavicular lymph node. Really, in the examination, we have uh, two steps. First of all, I'll examine anteriorly and then posteriorly. Let's come out of the go ahead now. This is a warak and a sir warak. Okay, I'll check the film group, as I say. First of all, you have bilaterally to check the submental and then submandibular group, pre-auricular group, post-auricular group, occipital group, also bilaterally. And then we have to examine the anterior neck. Really, in the examination of the neck vessel, you have to tilt the patient to the side of examination and it's preferable to examine just one side. First of all, the tonsillar and then superficial cervical, deep cervical and then for the scaly lymph node in the following maneuver you have to press the index finger between the sternocleidomastoid and the clavicle in the following way. In such a way you have to search for lymph node and then also you have to check the other side tonsillar superficial cervical deep cervical and for the scalene lymph node after that I'll ask the patient to shrug his shoulder for the supraclavicular force to be more obvious this is the supraclavicular fossi so you can palpate here for any lymph node I asked it. After that, I'll check the posterior lymph node from the front. Okay, I'll check the posterior cervical, the occipital lymph node, and the post auricular lymph node. Okay. Really, if you find a lymph node, you have to determine first whether this lymph node is a normal finding or it is an abnormal finding. Normal finding really when a person, healthy person, may have or may have a lymph node that is less than 1 cm and especially in the submental, in the submandibular area. 
or uh, sometimes in the inguinal area may reach up to 2 cm which is normal anyhow when you find a lymph node you have to detect the following characteristics of, a, of uh, that lymph node first of all you have to, to detect the size of the lymph node position I mean the size of the lymph node attachment whether the lymph node is attached to the underlying muscles for example overlying skin or subcutaneous tissue and so on and then you have to uh, detect the consistency of the lymph node whether it is hard, firm, soft and then you have uh, to detect the uh, other characteristic of lymph node for example the limitation, uh, the elimination uh, for example of the lymph node are uh, matted together in case of uh, tuberculosis or they are desecrated and symmetrical in case for example of uh, lymphoma and then you have uh, to detect the shape of the lymph node where they are ovoid in shape uh, and uh, spherical in shape and so on in addition to that really and the most important thing is to know the sign and the sign of the detection of the supraclavicular lymph node and what is the name of supraclavicular lymph node if it is uh, get enlarged from the metastasis really we call them the virtuous lymph node and its sign we call it the Troiser sign all these issues and aspects are about the lymph node examination of the neck.